Hey, I'm Who Cares, and today I'm going to be reviewing NF's Hope album. It is right now currently 1.32 in the morning. That's how excited I am to review this album. So immediately, let's jump into it. It's the first time I'm ever hearing these songs. Let's go. So, the first track is Hope. Now, I've already heard Hope. So, I'm just going to quickly review it right now because I do want to jump into the album that I haven't heard yet. Um, Hope is a great track. Absolutely love it. The music video for it is fire. The way he's going back and forth with his demons at the end is amazing. Um, it's definitely an amazing progression that Tommy Prophet does really well. Uh, it feels kind of like different um, songs in a way, but they all really link together really perfectly. And the track after that is Motto. Now, I haven't reviewed Motto. I have reviewed Hope in a previous video, which is, you can see it in that little eye right there. If you want to see it, hey, it's available. But Motto is another good song. I do like it. I think I like Hope a little bit better. Hope is definitely more of the NF style, and Motto is something he was trying new. Now, the music video for that is also really good. Um, it talks about how the industry is mostly about names instead of like the actual music part of it. So, I mean, especially for me, I'm starting off making my own music, and uh, it really means something when you hear an artist that's doing really well say that um, even though a lot of people are focusing on the names and like your style and things like that, there are still a few artists that, you know, actually care about their craft and are successful based on their craft. And NF is one of the few people that are actually, um, you know, successful based on their craft instead of their personality. So now we're going to jump into the first song of this album that I haven't heard yet, which is Careful with NF and Corday. That song was so good with Corday. Oh my goodness. Um, I really love the beat. For my music, um, I definitely love playing around with different vocals and things like that. And then the vocals in the song Careful is playing in the background that Tommy Prophet does. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Um, I really like Corday on this. I've never heard of him before, but his uh, flow was very smooth. Um, I really love that. Uh, definitely love the lyrics. <laughs> Um, yeah, he did. What, what were those lyrics that he wrote? Um, yeah, that line where he said, uh, subpar songs, I don't make those, that's for sure. But pretty much, you can already tell the theme of this album. The theme is hope, and just talking about, um, you know, NF having hope for his life and things like that. And if you read these lyrics, um, it's definitely way more positive than a lot of his other songs already. Um, like talking about risks have been taking him, talking about dreams have been chasing him, talking about lives have been changing him. Beforehand, it was a lot of like more negative thoughts in that aspect of his uh, career, and now he's going into more positive. So I can't wait to hear more about that throughout this album. But yeah, I really love Careful. Corday did an amazing feature on that. Let's get to the next one. Next one is Mama. So immediately we start off with him like having this letter to his mom uh s saying like hey you ever make it up to the gate um if you did i wonder is it a beautiful place so i'm about heaven of course um talking about jesus meeting her and things like that if you don't know um nf's and his mom had like a rocky relationship uh she ended up dying i believe of an overdose and uh, kind of leaving them when they were young there's a s song on his previous album called why did you leave us that dives into that more um but i don't think he ever said that he actually forgave her for that and the fact that he wrote a song about forgiving his mom for not being around is extremely impactful if we're talking about the music the music production is also really good again um definitely a great song nf raps really well on this i mean his flow and all that um, it's really good. Coming off on this song, you can definitely tell he's way more at peace with this. Um, Why Did You Leave Us? That was a rough song to listen to. And um, this one, this one is beautiful because uh, definitely forgiving her, way more peace with it, and has hope that uh, she's in heaven, which, hey, it's the theme of the album. So I love that song. Very great song. Um, next is Happy, which also had a music video for, which I just recently watched before this, but I'm going to listen to it again uh, and mostly focus on the lyrics and stuff than the video. So here we go. Dang, man, does NF 
ever have a song that is not a banger. Man, that song is so good. And you might think, man, this guy doesn't seem into it. Right now, it's like I said, it's 154. And there's people sleeping downstairs. <laughs> so, man, this is so exciting. This song is so good. Um, it definitely sounds more uh, pop-like. Um, Anif has definitely been singing a lot more on this album, which is kind of cool. Um, we've definitely heard Anif sing before, but he's definitely going into more like that sing kind of rap, which I really, really like from him. Lyrically, actually, um, is more less hopeful, if you know what I'm saying. I mean, just starting with the chord. It says, living in my agony, watching my self-esteem go up in flames, acting like I don't care what anyone else thinks. I mean, in this song, it's pretty much saying, like, my bad mental health space is what I'm kind of more comfortable in. So this song is the least, like, for lyrics-wise, like, the least less hope. But it has, like, the most amount of, like, upbeat to it of song-wise. It's kind of weird. The producing, again, is really good. Um, I really like this version of NF. I, we haven't heard it often um, with the guitar and everything. We definitely haven't heard it often. But yeah, really, really good song. Definitely could see this one playing on the radios a lot. Um, definitely. Could definitely see, like, Let You Down and then this one playing a lot. Next is Pandemonium. I wonder what that one's going to be about. Oh. Well, that song is so, so fire. <laughs> I feel like that song changed at least like eight times. Like the song and the music changed so drastically and the rap flow changed so drastically. And it's just showing off at this point, man. And I think that's what the lyrics are saying, too. Dang, there's so much lyrics uh, to go through. It would take me forever. <laughs> but I just want to say something in the beginning. It says, confidence is at the highest level. I don't ever see it dipping. I mean, we have heard NF being confident in different songs, but this one feels different, man. This one, this one is hard. I mean, Tommy Prophet, I think he was the one who also produced this one dude is insane with his producing i don't know how the heck he does it they're both like truly ahead of their time with nf is rapping and changing his flows non-stop and uh tommy profit fit keeping up with him that is crazy that that song is real good i can imagine that beyond like a lot of workouts uh people's tracks like to work out too dude i love that song i'm definitely gonna have that like on top of my playlist next is suffice Wow, that song had like two parts to it. That's crazy. <laughs> I Man, it just immediately in the middle of the song, like it stopped and completely switched to like a completely different kind of song. I mean, of course, like the theme of the song was definitely the same. I mean, this song is definitely about his drive. Uh, and it's crazy. I wonder if someone, act, did someone actually like blame him for having a child? I don't know. That's that's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I think in every NF song, there's like that one song where he's like, I have gotten to where I am at for a reason. I feel like this is definitely that song. Um, him saying ever since his first EP came out with All I Have on it, uh, he's been giving it all that he has. I mean, and then ever since then, it's been his uh, rise to success. Uh, definitely putting a lot of work into it with all these different albums. But yeah, I feel like that this song is definitely his uh, kind of prove it song where he uh, sings about or raps about uh, his drive. Very good song. Really liked it. And that switch up was crazy. Okay, next is Gone with Julia Michaels. Wow, I don't know if we ever heard a duet with NF before like that. That was beautiful. I never heard of Julia Michaels, but she was very had a very good voice. My goodness, and NF, like I said, he's really singing on this, uh, this album, and he has an amazing voice as well. 
So for the lyrics of the song, it's talking about um, a breakup. I don't know if this is true based on the story with his pre... I believe he had a previous girlfriend, but I don't know if it's based on that. But it was just about breaking up and hoping that they're happy in their relationship, which is a really cool song because a lot of songs like this are kind of like, screw you, I hate you, uh, I hope everything terrible happens to you. And this one's actually, like, I hope that you have the best in your future down the line which is very rare for a song like this and uh it's very very beautiful song i love the production of it too um i also like the part where it stops and then switches to piano but i wonder if that's going to turn a few people off i like it but i could see people not liking that part i wonder if people are going to like that part of it but besides that man that was a beautiful duet next is bullet Wow, that was a good song too. Man, all these songs are so good. Immediately, what comes to mind for this song is that it has like, it's like the rap version of Grenade from Bruno Mars. And you heard it here first. <laughs> it really is though. Like, I would take a bullet, give my life in a second if it came down to it, sacrifice anything to see your light in your eyes, that's where I do it. It's like very much like Grenade, but it's like the rap version of it, like NF style on it. Um, but yeah, it's definitely about his wife, Bridget. And, um,. They recently had a child. I think they na named him Beckham. Yep, I was right. Yeah, so they had a, just recently had a child, and they named him Beckham. And uh, talking about th their uh, going through that, and of course, um, him talking about uh, sometimes that he's not the greatest husband or whatever. But I mean, he's willing to take a bull, give his life and everything. That seems like a pretty good husband. Something that we all should <laughs> could strive to be. But yeah, definitely to me sounds like um, Grenade from, Br doesn't sound like, it has the lyrics like Grenade from Bruno Mars, like the rap version of that. So next song, Turn My Back. Man, another fire song from NF. Man, all these songs are just so good. <laughs> I mean, he's definitely calling off, like, a bunch of fake artists. I mean, I feel like this is, like, a challenge, kind of, like, to all the fake artists out there. <laughs> I mean, people who are trying to use him for clout beforehand, uh, they, like, didn't care about him when he was not that famous. And now that he's famous, everyone's trying to hit him and trying to get him on, like, a feature or something. <laughs> uh, Producing again, great. Of course, like all these changeups and all these songs are just so good. Um, and of course, showing off his confidence, definitely uh, showing that hope vibe of this album. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, this song definitely feels like a challenge. All those fake artists out there are the ones that are uh, there for, you know, their image and not their music. And I feel like that's been a theme for a lot of these songs on here. It's been a lot of. Uh, <laughs> a lot of calling people out. So next is Mistake. Man, that song is beautiful. Dang. He just takes a real simple, mostly with piano and then some strings at the very end. And just rapping about that. Oh, this song is beautiful. Um, Dang. <laughs> so very impactful song it's talking about uh him feeling like a mistake and trying to convince others um around him with his actions trying to prove it uh that he's not one um this is going to impact a lot of people i can tell you that it's already definitely impacts me my personal life which i'm not going to go into but i mean for this uh he's talking about like having no confidence and struggling with it uh, it says no confidence struggle with it that's obvious and a lot of these songs on this album is talking about him gaining confidence so him trying to prove that he's not a mistake um and then those other songs are trying to help him gain confidence i mean it definitely matches well with this uh, album just um but yeah very very good song and if you ever watch this um 
just know you definitely are a mistake uh, god definitely put you on this planet for a reason and you are impacting a lot a lot of people so i thank you for that <laughs> and um, we're gonna go to the next song called let them pray Man, that song is going to be crazy when he performs this on tour. <laughs> the crowd's going to be jumping for this song. Oh, man. <laughs> that was really, really good. I um, think I hit my peak. No, I just started climbing the hill. Man, if you're just starting climbing this hill, imagine his music on this next album after this one. It's going to be even crazier. So for the lyrics on this song, it's talking about uh, let him pray, let him come after me, pray to God, saying, uh, <laughs> praying on his downfall. And uh, he said, just let him pray. God ain't listen to him anyway, because they're not. God wants uh, him NF to be successful. I think it. I think it's he's kind of proved it by now. But great song, production wise, really really good. Um, definitely like a jump up song. I'm that's going to get the crowd wild on this tour. I can I can immediately see exactly what's going to happen on the tour <laughs> for this song. But yeah, really good song. Can't wait to see that this one perform for sure. <laughs> but now we, we come to the last song. We're at Running. Dang, what a way to end an album. What a way to end an album. He's running from his past self. I think that's, that's what I interpret it as. His past self that was holding him back. Um, this song is definitely like that anthem song. That's uh, just saying, I'm done living my life in the darkness. I'm done. I'm done. I'm running away from it. And that is the essence of this whole album. The essence of hope. He's leaving his past self um, behind. The one that was dragging him back. And now he's coming to this new kind of music where he's more positive where he's more proud of himself and of course there's going to be those uh, struggles along the way like any human but he is finally getting to a place where he is more happy and more hopeful so let's talk about this entire album i mean i mean this album already like could be considered for album of the year already and it's what it's, it's april 7th <laughs> That's crazy. This album was amazing from start to finish, and we got to see a lot more of NF's singing voice, which I think fits well for Hope. I mean, other ones like Perception, things like that, you think more rap. For Hope, you think more like singing, more calm, and definitely still had his like fire songs. Don't get me wrong. Like uh, Careful, Pandemonium was insane. Um, but then he had more calm songs like uh, going through like Mama, Happy. Um, and running the one that we just listened to or I just listened to but man this this album every, every time NF releases an album it gets even better um his music videos are still amazing this whole album is just honestly like a piece of art if I had to rate this album I mean like uh, <laughs> if I had to rate this entire album, and I just re reviewed other albums, so I'm not someone who always goes 10 out of 10, but this album is definitely a 10 out of 10. I feel like NF is getting to the point where it's we're going to have to rate NF on NF skill alone and not compared to other artists because he's just doing so well at all these songs. Um, his features, Corday and Julia Michaels, were both amazing. Corday really laid some bars that, on that uh, on Careful, and on Gone, Julia Michaels and NF's duet was beautiful. I mean, we never really heard a duet from NF, I, I don't think. I mean, I, there's Mansion and things like that, but it wasn't anything like that. But overall, loved it. If I had to choose favorites, I mean, I only listened to these songs once. The ones that definitely stood out to me, I like Happy, I like Pandemonium. What other good songs were there? All of them are so good. Like, those are, I'll say, I like Hope, of course. Oh, man. All these songs are just so good. I I would have to listen to them, I think, multiple times to figure out which ones are my favorite. But I really like listening to this album. And there's it feels very different compared to NF's other um, albums, but still maintaining the very, like, still maintaining the NF sound. But that's going to do it for tonight, or this morning, 2.40. And I'm going to go get ready to edit this, and then post it, and then go to bed. Anyway... Today is the 7th, and if you guys don't know, I'm not a very big YouTuber, but I'm trying to hit 25 subs, and I'll release all the music that I've been making 
definitely appreciate a sub. I'm trying to hit it by 11.59 at on April 7th, Friday. So, definitely appreciate a sub. When that happens, I'm going to release all my songs onto all streaming platforms. Um, you can go check them out if you want to. But again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, amazing album. Definitely an amazing album. Peace.